I'm ready, let's go. We are, we, are, we, are, we are not the same. We are Liquid Radio. Stupid. Oh, hell yeah. DJ C, DJ the Gaff. Boom Bat meets the G shit. What up, C's? Oh, shit. What up, Gaffster? We're on, oh. that, uh, we're on that Zoom Bat meets the G shit. We're Zooming today. Zoom Bat. And, and this is by far G. I want to do this right. It's like, like we always say, time is money, money is time. It and it's precious, and this this man right here is a legend. So, G, I want to do this proper, this 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 intro. But you know, G, real quick, how we always say, you zig, we zag, right? Yeah, yeah. So saying saying you just you go one way, we go a little bit different. Not just because we're different, just because you are that you are that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it goes like this, G. I want to do this right. Do it right, Gaffster. Yeah, this group right here, he's part of a legendary group. He's the main focal point as far as I'm concerned, you know what I mean? He's one, of, he, he's the man. They sold over 40 million records, G, worldwide. 40 million. Let, look at that number. Let, let's, okay, 40 million. And I want to talk about something else real quick. Uh, the Stilo's different, that's what I'm saying. The harmony, the, you know, when, they, they, when everybody was doing one thing, they did something, they flipped the script, G. And I want to get really into it real quick, but we got the legendary, the fucking, the man, G. We got Busy Bone. What up, Busy Bone? What up, G? Yeah, what's good, man? What's good? How you guys doing, man? Thank you for this, the kind intro and, 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 and those inspiring words. I appreciate that, man. Oh, Much love. G. Much love. G. Oh, man, we're so excited to hear. See, let's do a salute real quick. Let's do a salute. Busy. Busy. Are we smoking or drinking? Are we doing anything? Oh, salute. 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 Hey. Mm. I love it, G. So check it out, C's man. Busy's in the house right here on Liquid Radio. Yay, yay. I wanted to say real quick, I got so much to go through in a short amount of time. Uh, there's skills. We, you know, we do a little bit past, present, future. It's kind of what we do, but uh, we could take it anywhere. As you can see, I have the carbon monoxide. Oh, you see shit. that, G? Yeah, definitely. That's really nice, man. I love that, man. It there's good. a lot of gas. There's a lot of gas right there, G. Uh, we was going. We were going through it. Uh, this song real quick, real quick, brother. Can you uh, hear this? Let me see. Children, does anyone know what rhymes with ego? Woo! A billion streams on Bebo, bringing about as much chips as you can get in a quarter bag at the Rito. Oh. Gee, I'm a knocky fan. I hit you with one of these combinations. I go going through complications, and then I do my Takashi dance. Shredder oh. was a case that they gave me. Dude, that's just fire. My, my, woo, my little sampler only has so much time, G. But That's all good. But uh, we're going to get into the carbon monoxide. Um, man, I, G, we're big fans of yours. Um, I love... You know, and I'm sure your story's been told many times because you guys are so big, so legendary. But I just wanted to break down real quick uh, and the, the beginning of your guys' story when you're in Cleveland and, and to, to get a one-way ticket, a one-way bus ticket to come out here to L.A. Uh, and to try to find easy. To me, uh, this, that alone, that drive, the the man can you break that down a little bit because like a lot of people say oh i'm gonna follow my dream my passion my goals blah 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 you hear it all the time but man this even your start is incredible to me that like, you guys were kids you know what i mean yeah definitely it was it was a big decision for us you know we were um we were business minded we we're extremely business minded as as youngsters lazy bone used to carry a briefcase around and he used to carry his copyrighted raps okay. in his briefcase and then our pictures, he would carry our tapes in there. So wherever we would go, we was always showcasing our talent, whether we was on the bus, whether we were anywhere where we was, and Lazy was prepared. Like he got our CD, well actually it was a tape back then, it was just the tapes. So Lazy had the tapes ready. He was like, we got our tape if you wanna buy one, cause we would be on the bus just going acapella and people would be listening to us on the bus ride. But anyway, we made the decision. Um, it was between New York and between Los Angeles. So hmm. we didn't know we didn't know too many people in New York. Okay. And 
flesh and bone already had a connection from college because he played college ball um, in Pennsylvania at Allegheny University. I think it's like a division three school. And um, so that's what, yeah, yeah. That's what gave us the confidence in order to go to Los Angeles and reach out for our dream, you know, and we knew, like we told everybody, we said, we're going to get easy and we're going to bring him back to Cleveland. But we, but we went for everybody when we got there. We sent we sent our record to death row. We sent our record everywhere um, when we got there. So, but yeah, it all seemed to work out. Prof, man, stars align. Yeah, because you guys, you guys are those ones. And it's crazy if I, if I read it right, G, real quick. Uh, you guys were out here for four months trying to chase them down or trying to get anybody. Fi- oh shit! Okay. Much. Eight, eight months. Not to see, and that's a super impressive to me, man. Like, it takes a lot of balls, D. As a, even as a grown ass man, and you guys were young, you know what I mean? And and uh, man, to me, it's just super impressive. That little part of this, that story, man, it gives me chills. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And and so then, so then, uh, man, we got you got with easy, and uh, you know you met him, you met him back in Cleveland. Uh, and man, the rest is history, right? We just started making all the bomb records, creeping on the come up. Uh, you know, and I just want to go through this record just that we have you here. Your verses, go ahead, Cease. I'm sorry. Just wanted to, uh, how hard would you, since you're dipping on the easy, man, you know, easy's king out here, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so it's bone, so it's bone. So it's bone, yeah. The yeah. King is West Coast. I mean, I mean, they're West Coast, G. That's so hard. I mean, they're West Coast. It's, it's yeah, a, they it's are West Coast. Coast. But my question is, uh, dealing and and trying to uh, get Easy's attention, uh, how difficult was it, or how easy was it for you guys to get Easy's attention? And what did he have a a lane for you guys? You guys have your own thing, but how did he tie that in with? the easy NWA, like, how does that tie in? Well, the- it took, <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It took, it, it took a lot in order to get in contact with them. It took, um, and a lot of people played a major part. Um, a guy by the name of Diego from Cleveland linked up with easy East secretary Keisha and they started communicating. And he started telling her about us coming down there on the one-way bus tickets and, you know, risking everything in order to meet him. Uh, He sent in our very first tape that we had um, and who we were, but we were a totally different group by then. And what we were doing during that era and before then was completely different than what we had to offer. So back and forth phone calls um, until finally we took bus, the, we took a, 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 the bus all the way back to Cleveland and actually met him in Cleveland. So we didn't make it in L.A., but we struggled in L.A. in order to become something, and we actually made it in Cleveland. And then he brought us, then he brought us back to Los Angeles. But it was very, very, to answer your question, it was very, very difficult. It was, we went through the earthquake. The, I think it was the 6.6 out there. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, we, went, yeah. Went, we went through the earthquake out there. Um, we stayed out in Visalia for a little while. We mostly stayed in South Central. Mm-hmm. But we stayed out in Visalia for a while just because, we, you know, we were bouncing around and we needed to find, you know, find our way through. So. It was difficult. It was it was really, really, really difficult. Really, really was. Yeah, that's incredible, man. And uh, as a thing, you know, like we said, that dope story, but that's not a story. That's your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, yes. That's, that's the shit. The the drive and the passion. We need a movie. Yeah, man. And so we can do it. Like you know, uh, uh, this song right here, uh, and we're gonna get into all the new stuff. But uh, man, like. And I know it's been said a lot, but man, sees he's they've worked with or busy's worked with all the bigs. Gee, like they're the only people, and you know why they're the only people because that's how dope they are. Easy, Pac, 
you know, uh, B.I.G., big pun, you know? Yeah, and so, cool. I mean, I, I, I can reiterate it all day, and I do because he's on our show right now, and I, and I want the people to know, Liquid Radio is blowing up, but I want people to know that, that man, Busy is the real deal. And um, I mean, they got hits. I mean, he sold four million records, but, but I, I want to vibe with him. If we could vibe a little bit busy right here, just a little bit, G. <laughs> Oh man, that that's creeping on the come up, and you know, and then we got uh, this is my jam too, real quick, brother. I know we're not trying to do a hits thing, but I'm just happy you're here. This, this is a show. Right oh, good. Oh, oh, oh. Gotta give it up, up to the clock. That's so far, G. And so real quick, brother, um, man, that says that actually uh, gets me pumped up. The flow is incredible. You guys oh, did different shit. You guys are still different dude, to this day. Nobody matches Bones' style, G, their harmony, and the, the way they flip the script. You know, they, they sometimes they'll double time, sometimes they'll sing, sometimes they'll right. harmonize. Uh, G, your style is so original. I'm not sure. You guys are just original. I don't know how you got it, but what are your influences or how did you get that style, G? It's incredible, brother. Yeah, it come from, in my opinion, it comes from uh, all of us collectively building each other um, mm -hmm. and and uh, making each other better. It's a, I think it's it's a piece of each member. I think it has a lot to do with where music comes from. Um, rock and roll to blues to jazz to scat um, to eventually to hip hop. Mm. Um, break dancing has a like lot like lot to do with it. You know what I'm saying? It helps us because I was a big break dancer back in my day. Um, and spray painting, mm. graffiti, um, and I think all of that culminated together. It just it brought that double time um, because we were always we were always different without rapping fast. Like we were always different. Like we we just approached it in a melodic way, a catchy way. Our lyrics always bounced because we didn't really have a beat, so we had to make sure we were on time, and our yeah. lyrics always would bounce and. That's why I really think it came from, I think, a combination of all of us together and just honing our skills and staying at it. And then when new artists come in, they put a little twist on it. We get that, receive that. It builds us stronger and stronger and stronger. So, yeah, hip-hop community in general, I think, after we came out, like the T.I.'s and right. Lil Wayne's and... Uh, Jay Z's and eventually back to us. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody was really doing anything close to what we was doing, except poor righteous teachers. Yeah, Daz, Daz effect. A little bit, but, it, but, but I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, 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 you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. But the the the, the harmony is is uh, was incredible, and to this day, it's still super original. It's, nobody can fuck with your shit. Uh, like, what do you think, real quick, brother, uh, about auto tune? What do you think about auto tune? I mean, auto tune really originated uh, with Roger Troutman and Zach. I think um, is where it really, really took off with Computer Love mm. um, and, and more bounce to the ounce and 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 those things. So I. I, I always have a love for auto tune and a respect for auto tune. It's on another level now. Yeah. But, it, but it's always existed. I think Lil Wayne wouldn't stop using it. And I think he, 
he made everyone else want to use it because he was so unique and separate. And then it was just a windfall. It was just his thing. Yeah. And it was a windfall of everybody just taking it from me. It was just Lil Wayne that yeah. was doing it at one time. Then here comes T Pain, and T Pain yeah. can really he can really sing. Yeah, he so can really sing. Yeah, when you add when you add a real vocalist with auto tune, then what do we have? The chipmunks. Period. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but I was just but I was just uh trying to give you the the utmost because the oh, the, auto, the auto tune is you know it's just auto correct right like they can't a lot of, T Pain T Pain can't sing that's not what I'm saying but what I'm mm -hmm. saying is you guys but that wasn't even thought of you guys uh, could really harmonize you know that's crazy like to me it still blows my mind the way uh, to this day anybody uh, there's people that harmonize a little bit but man, you guys just did it super big super dope so unique and it just sounded so good together man and 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 all of you guys even individually when you guys do it even if you guys are not on a bone album you know busy album lazy album it does you know you guys just sound it just sounds dope when you guys do it if someone else tries to do it they they can't that's why a lot of people started going to that auto tune is my opinion i, I think i think it elevated to that uh, eventually I think it really, really did. It's just for me, I look at it from the outside looking in and I've always been taught to separate myself. So third person is okay for me sometimes, but I've just, I've been grammar wise. I've always been taught that that way I don't get the big head or I always keep myself in check. So I appreciate you saying that. It, yeah. it feels real good that my hard work or our hard work, uh, bone as a collective, really, really meant something and means something. So I appreciate that. That's, oh yeah, that, that's real. That's one hundred G. And I also <laughs> one on that. Yeah, yeah. You know how melodic and and how much harmony we're talking about. It's still not soft. Like no, he's no. he's ripping it up. You know, oh. you don't you don't want it. You don't want it with them, G. Yeah, you don't. I was trying to do a little bit of homework and prepare for this interview. Uh, I can't, again, thank you for, for being a part of this, Busy. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so I was just kind of scrolling through your Instagram and, and uh, you put a post where you're in the booth a while oh, back. I seen it. You are ripping it up and somebody's recording <laughs> from, the, from the, the, the recording booth, but you were out in a room yeah. Man, I like what Gaff says, uh, you know, all the time. It's like I got legitimate chills, not just to my arms, down to my fucking legs. You, you were killing it. Killing. Oh, yeah, that was that was my guy. Um, I was at a nitty, uh, nitty gritty studio. Um, he got an artist named Young Blue. Yeah. Um, and he, he'd been killing it out there. So, yeah, I was at their studio. And, yep, I remember it. It was nitty gritty. Yeah, uh, I think we know him. Gaff I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. That's okay, that's okay, yeah. yeah, definitely, nitty. So yeah, that's where I was at. And I figured it'd been on the internet for a little while, so I said, I, I need to bring this back. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be the kind of person that wants all the content to himself, so I felt like, hey, I should share it. And I didn't wanna share the whole thing on my, and then people went back there and I seen that the views went up and <laughs> stuff like that. So yeah. I was like, okay. Right. So people were feeling it and you know during this whole quarantine thing that's going on you know artists are going to really have to really be talented now right you know like you can't just paint your toenails and and expect for you know somebody to jump on that bandwagon now now they can't come to see you it's only 50 people with, allowed in one space at a time and the whole world on lockdown now yeah. you really, really got to be talented. So that's when I started pushing that, my agenda. And, okay, it's, it's my time now. Oh, right. You know, yeah. Like, it's my time now. So uh, that's yeah. what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. And uh, his Instagram is incredible, sis. Yeah. <laughs> I, see, I was going through it. Hey, G, real quick. He has one. Jeff, I'm taking notes on how to tighten up our shit because uh, uh, <laughs> hey, real, real quick, G, and I, I just chopping up because busy's here 
uh, I seen another post too. Like his shit is fire. Like if you don't know, go to his shit. It's mi- it's Mister Mister McCain. Mister M- McCain. M- yes, sir. M R M C C A N E. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he has one season. It's hard. He goes like that, and he's not. He's not even talking. He's not bragging or boasting. Gee, that's not what it is. And he got platinum, 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 platinum. And he's just like, oh, this, you know, is this what it is? Gee, I was just like, uh, and it was just dope. And yeah, definitely. Yeah, that shit was fire. And this, this shit was fire, too. I like this. Yeah, can you hear this? Can you hear this real quick? Niggas like, niggas. This real quick. And it's not about the, the it's just about the, fl- the flow. Gee, if we can hear it. N- niggas like Eminem Kamikaze. I come through the motherfucking Waffle House with no braids. Kevin Gates to Mozzie. You bumble clock pussy boy drag when I pull out this shiny. And I can give a fuck who my motherfucking ex bitch fuck. I never rap on my niggas. Put that on little legs, Maserati. Ah. Caught you slipping, but I'm gonna pick you bitch boys right back up like we was dancing with Takashi, nigga. I rap like horses galloping feet. You can feel me all through your body, nigga. It's American Express of two you bitch niggas up like Pilates, nigga. We round here watching your hair call. <clears throat> what a hot time, nigga. <laughs> Sue Surf Tsunami, Young Il Karate, Loaded Lux, Template of Characteristics, and fuck that money, black youngsters, I'm your guy. These neck, arm, and finger pieces will destroy your sense of reality. Census, the consensus, I'm drippy, good. Trippy red, total fatality, dead, cuz. Shitty cuz, wanna play Mickey and Mouse. Don't none of you niggas want to die. Oh! Yeah, I was given, I was given gems, man. I was given oh. gems on that one. I, my my favorite, one of my favorite lines is, "I rap like horses galloping feet." You know what I'm saying? Because I, yeah. the re, the way that I came up with that that line was, I was thinking about a remix to to Jay Z's song, "H to the Izzo, V to the Is." I was like, uh. B to the O to the N to the E to the, and I was just thinking about like, and I'm like, damn, that sound like horses galloping. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's why I came up with, I said, gotta be a cool line, BB. And I just, and it was just kind of cultivated. And then a lot of that was like, it's like a, I wanted that bird or that freestyle to be a uh, Andy Warhol painting. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was. Uh, hip hop. Yeah, man. I wanted to talk about how young Mozzie got killed at the Waffle House. How the dude had braids. I wanted to talk about just the whole thing and, and bring Nipsey in on it. And it just all came together. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole thing, you know? Mm. So yeah, definitely. I wanted to make sure that the people got that one. I put out another one that was a little bit faster a little bit later on too. Mm. So yeah, man, it's, yeah. it's what I do, man. I, I love music and it's just something I think I'm going to do forever, even if it's just for fun. Though I know that it's not because I'm professional and, mm-hmm. I, and, and I, I'm putting out projects and things of that nature. But it's just what I love to do, man. And, and this yeah. social media thing is, yes, sir, this social media thing is, is right, up my, right up my alley. It's my lane because I've always shared with the people, whether it was foster homes whether it was being beat on black eyes in school kidnapped uh poverty yeah, yeah. all it i've always shared every aspect of my life because it built me to be who i am and okay. helped me pull a cup and helped me pull a couple other people out of the rut that they was in so social media is right there with it and it took me a minute to get uh uh to get the instagram thing down pat I played with a few different things, and I think finally I'm I'm settling in. So I appreciate that. It, it lets me know you're you're going down the right path, dude. Keep going down that path, you know. That shit was fire. Yeah, I, want, I want to salute you for for all the positive that you do, and you're helping people like that, man. Big ups to you, G. That's dope. Yeah, that's one hundred. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. I think that if I leave anybody with anything, is I want to make sure that people are being healthy as they can. I love partying myself. You know, I want to make sure that health is involved because I know I got a lot of people listening to me, and I want to act my age. You know, I, I don't mind aging gracefully, but I don't want to. I don't want to talk like I used to talk when I was you know, 18, 17, 16 in the game, just for clout or whatever it may be. I want to make sure that I stay in my lane 
and make a good impression on people's lives because with when Crossroads, when the song Crossroads came out, it put myself and the rest of my bros in a position to where we had to be those guys, those sanctified ghetto angels. We had to be that because of what Crossroads just did for the world. It When Pac died, Biggie died, Easy died first, and everybody played it at their funerals. And then you add that on to me being open about the kidnapping and my story and all of those things and the abuse or whatnot. And it just all came in, you know, all came in together. You add all that up and it's just a big gumbo of keeping it as real as you can and add a little bit of heart along with the gun. Oh, man. Well said, G. Man, no. <laughs> big, ups, big ups to you. Big ups. I mean, uh, can you say, uh, real quick, um, that album um, with um, Crossroads is the biggest, the record. That, that, see, that thing uh, sold five million records. Yeah, that's fire. I'm sure it sold more, but that's what I, you know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, so, it's so many streams. It's so many records. Yeah. It's, still, it's still moving today. Because of that and Thuggish Ruggish and the rest of the songs, I really don't have to work another day in my life. I really Ooh. can just, like straight up, it's, it's one of those things, man. And, I, and that's, why, that's one of the reasons why I try to tell my boys, let's take a break off the road for a minute. Let's go back to, let's give them four or five more of those. Unfortunately, my guys didn't want to listen to me on that level now. We got to sit the fuck back. And I know if we would have put the work in then and made, got them classics in, right now for us to release a classical record while everybody's isolated is what the world needs right now. But, you know, saying all of that, you know, um, yeah, man, Crossroads, man, is, is one of the biggest, and if not the biggest of my career, yeah. Uh, songs, you know, we got the Phil Collins, we got Days of Our Lives, yeah, different ones. But Crossroads, by I think Crossroads by far is 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 the the biggest one. So you're right, you're right about that. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Gaff. Yeah. Uh, man, uh, but you know, gee, and that is, but but that is that's, a, I mean, I have it right here. But my jam season busy, uh, first of the month. You know, like uh, uh, I mean, G, their 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 style is just like, you know, the first of the month, the first and the fifteenth, right? I'm sorry, yeah. how much? Mm -hmm. Ten minutes. We got ten minutes. Yeah. Damn, I went too quick. Okay, so that style, that song is just incredible. I want to play a little bit of it just real quick. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, we're seeing you, Gaff. You good? Are you? I, I can't see you. Yeah, yeah. We see you. I see you. Oh, man. What's up? Gaff, we see you, man. Okay. Well, uh, shit. Real, real quick, I'm going to dip in. Just, we, just on that last subject we were just on right now. Mm. Um, when you were talking about, you know, the 90s and that's large and you worked with, with and then Gaff touched on it, the Biggie and Tupac and all that. Like, mm -hmm. you, I mean, I know you know how special that is, but with, yes. if you look around, everything in the 90s is in again right now. It came full circle, the, the clothing, the gear, mm. uh, the music, it's full circle right now. The 90s are in again. So my kids ask me for advice for the 90s so they can be first on the shit that's out, right? With that right. being said, are you guys planning to bring something out? Just what you were talking about, you guys could drop a jewel right now and it's the 90s are in effect. Everyone's itching for 90s current shit, but 90s flavor. Is that in, in, uh, in the talks for you guys? Look, I, I really, really, that's always been my dream. Carbon Monoxide was supposed to be an entire bone record produced by my producer, Blaze. Mm. Um, everything you hear on Carbon Monoxide was planned for Bone Thugs and Harmony because I've always been group orientated first. Okay. But we, to be quite frank and quite honest, my guys 
they stayed on the road so much. Ooh. We really, really had no time to be able to create anything. And now it's possible to, to do. Um, and it's something that I would jump at the opportunity. I just don't think that it's on my, my, my group's radar. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, for me, for me to y'all, I really just think that they want to keep the classics the way that they are mm -hmm. and leave it where it is. And whatever else they want to do outside of it, cool, cool beans. But I just really don't think that they, I think that they feel as though it will do something to the classics if we create more material together. It's just what it, the, the feeling that I get, because every time I say, let's do a group record, let's do a group record, let's do a group record, let's do a group record. I'm the one pushing, like that's me pushing. And that's why I had to go create music and do carbon monoxide and next one I'm gonna put out. And the next one in the documentary and all, all of this other stuff, and then pushing for the music to come out. The New Waves project were crazy in me. I pushed for that project to come out. And then Cray went right back on the road to do the classics and that record just got buried mm. underneath the dirt. Mm. So that's kind of been that's kind of been my thing with Bone Thugs and Harmony is to push us to go further, to push us to go further. And my guys have been more, let's enjoy the success that we have. Slow down, yeah. BB. Take your time, BB. Slow down. So that's always been our our relationship. So to, I hope that answers your question. But right. nothing I see right now, a full bone project is in the works that I know of. Mm. Okay. Right on. Damn. Appreciate hey. that. That's a square. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah. It's so real. Hey, Cease, can you see me? I can okay. see you, Gaff. You, hey, cool. you, it looks like you can see us. So just keep okay, on. So I can't see you, but, I, but I, I'm still here, G. So we're going to do five, it like this. Five and a half. Go ahead. I, wanna, I just want to go real quick into, uh, of course, uh, the, the, the notorious thugs. He worked with Tupac. You know, he did all that. Uh, that we have him here. I want to vibe with him, and then we're gonna get into carbon monoxide real quick. But uh, I just want, cause he's right here. Cold, yo. Cold. 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 Busy. What, were you guys in a studio together, or did you guys record that separately? Um, Biggie recorded his uh, verse separately. We all recorded our verse. If you look on the internet or you look on my page, you'll see uh -huh. the pictures with me and Big and Lil C's uh -huh. and the rest of the Bone crew. So we did it all together. But Biggie took it home so he could study it. And yeah. then because he wanted to get it down pat, so he represented. He did a great job, by the way. He did. He he did the he did the ball. He did the double time, and you never really heard him do that. That was dope. All right. Yeah. Yeah. That's so fly. And and then this is another one of your classics, real G, uh, real quick, G. I love this song. It's called Thugs Cry, G. <laughs> I said fire too, G. Fire. Yeah, that one was yeah, rest in peace to Johnny J. Um up in heaven somewhere looking down on me. People still love that record. They love all of his records with Tupac too. So rest in peace, Johnny J up in heaven for real. All right, Peter Johnny J. I didn't know he made that record with the uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. He was, he, yeah, he did a few records on Heaven's movie. Um, you know, I went to go. I went. I, I got a Feeny. I had a Feeny at the studio with me for Heaven's movie. Just her vibe, just her essence. to Pop's mom, Johnny yeah. J was there. So yeah, yeah, definitely was a. Uh, I had the Rascal Flats before anybody even knew them. But that's a whole nother story. <laughs> that's hard, G. And so that so man. The carbon monoxide, this it's going too quick, but the carbon monoxide. I love the title, I love the whole shit. Enig Enigma, that was my jam too. This one, 
That's his fly. Hell yeah. That shit's my fire, G. That, and um, I was digging also uh, Alpha Mentality. I think it, that shit's fire too. Yeah, Alpha Mentality is doing real, real good on YouTube. Um, I have my opened up my channel and I wanted to be able to put all the visuals. I did like five to six visuals on my new YouTube channel, Jam TV. Y'all got to check that out as well. Y'all see, I got the shirt now. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, definitely. Carbon monoxide was just something that I wanted to give to the people. You know, I wanted it to be a bone record, like I said before, but I couldn't wait and I couldn't suppress. I couldn't suppress the music. So yeah. if I tell people when you listen to Carbon Monoxide, listen to the first song all the way to the last song. And, and it's a full body of work. And oh. then pick whatever song that you want. I just, it was a challenge to let me know that I put together a solid record or not. And a hundred percent of the people said, you did good, B, you oh. did good. You know, so it was love. It's been love nonstop and it's spinning, it's streaming, it's, yeah, we're, it's, it's doing good. Yeah, we're gonna play it. And and, and I, I know you've been, you've uh, went platinum on your own, you know what I mean? But you're, you're, yes, a, you're, a, you're a group guy, I get it. Uh, Let's get it. Gaff, we're on the last minute. Okay, G, we got it. I'm fuck. That sucks. Um, yeah, man, it's going fire. We, busy. I, I, uh, we had a great time, G. I, maybe we could do a part two. I can't thank you enough, uh, man. Just thank you, man. You got any words, C's? Uh, just mad respect, G. And I, and I, I big up all everything you do. And we're definitely gonna support. And we'll big up uh, your your Jam TV. Uh, and Thank you. Projects, we'll, we'll we'll mix it all up, uh, your jams, and we'll big up your uh, nonstop. Appreciate Thank you. Bro. Thank you, man. It's so much love. I really, really appreciate you guys. This is Busy Bone from Bone Thugs in Harmony. Y'all listen to Liquid Radio. Keep it real. W L I X. Liquid Radio. 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 Radio.